This is the 2021 Jeep Wrangler 80th Anniversary Edition with 4x4. It has a 3.6 liter V6 engine that produces up to 285 horsepower. It has an average fuel consumption of 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers of highway driving. The vehicle is in pretty good used condition. With it being black, it is easy to see it does have some washing scratches. Um, on the front here, we do have some bubbling in the paint as well in a few spots. There's a bit of a deeper scratch there, but no major stone chipping on the front. Um, it does have some water marks there on the doors. Here we do have some heavier chipping in the fenders and there is some heavier scratches, but the rims are all in really good shape. There's no major dents or dings. We do have some scratching here, a little bit here around the gas pedal and on that fender as well. There is some paint chipping away on the door hinges, but there is pretty decent shape for use. We do have remote start on the key fob. And there is also keyless entry as well. You have your side mirror controls here, light controls. We do have weather techs for the front and back. And we've got these nice fabric seats with the little tag there. And we'll get this started. Up on the steering wheel, you've got controls for hands-free calling. You can also control your music and you've got your cruise control settings here. We're only at 70,000, which is pretty good for 21. We do have Sirius XM capabilities as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can also control your heated seats and your heated steering wheel from here as well. We do have navigation. And we've also got that backup camera. And down here you've got your climate control. We've also got your heated seats, your steering wheel. Uh, you've got traction control, auto start shut off, and some other um, terrain modes as well. <laughs> down here you've got a USB, USB-C, and auxiliary plug-in. You've got your window uh, switches there and a 12 volt plug-in. And you do have the auxiliary options down there as well. You've got two to four wheel drive, a decent sized center console with two compartments. And in the bottom there, there is also another USB plug-in. And up top you have the assist and SOS buttons. And you've also got the garage door buttons as well. And we've got the push start there. And we'll slide this back just a bit. And the back is fairly spacious. The headrest does go up in the middle there. And on the back of the center console, there's two vents. You've got your windows and also a couple cup holders. And on the backs of the front seats, there are those little pockets. And up here on the top of the seat, there is two levers. One pulls the headrest and one pulls seat to allow you that extra room. And you can see up top there, it does have your speakers and lights for when you want to take the hard top off. And back here, we've got a little carpet mat. There's another little section under there for storage with your tools to take off the hard top. There's a big speaker there and you've also got a 12 volt plug in. And if you're interested in going for a test drive, come see us at Huntsville Dodge.